Hello, and welcome to EMP Tech Group. Today we're going to talk about Bartender's companion app, PrintStation. PrintStation is a great application to use. We just want your employees or personnel to just be able to print a label, not design it or modify it. So let's start off here. Let's open up PrintStation. Also, if you would, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Also, click the bell to get notifications on our newest videos. Uh, we're currently in the middle of a bartender series. We have one other video before this on locking down your formats from within Bartender. This kind of follows along with that. So here's Bartender Print Station. And it's opened up, and we have a blank screen because we have not told Bartender um, Print Station where to look or any of the label formats we want to be able to select and print to. So upon the first time you open this up, you're going to want to go up here to the upper right hand corner and click on administrative setup. And here you get a general page of setup options. And one thing I do like to do is come down here and go to view full screen on setup. That way there's no way of getting out of um, Bartender print station if you want. Plus, I think it just looks better. Then I'm going to come over here to root folders. And bartender documents is a default folder for print station. And we're actually going to make, I believe, two or three different folders here. So you create a new one, come down here and add the new root folder. And I'm going to tell the new one where to look for everything. As you see, when I did select the actual folder that some of my labels are in, it changes the name of the folder automatically. If I don't want it to say that, I can come down here to override and select whatever I want. But for now, that's okay. I'm going to create another one here. Back up to my desktop. And I'm actually going to take this one and change it to the third folder. I still have to make a new one. Now I have three different locations where I have labels, or I may have labels. And I want the users to be able to select from these three different locations. So now if I go here, are the three folders that I have options to. In print station, I have these four labels. And you can change how they look. That just changes it from icons to details. We'll go with icons and we'll go with large tiles. And this one, this logo labels has six labels in it. And then shelving has other ones. Now if we go back in to the administrative setup, we can go down to security. I would highly recommend setting a password for the administrative portion of this. If you don't, users can get into the administrative section and change everything they want. So the old password is blank. New password, we're just going to make it one, two, three, four. And now we have a password. Now, the reason I liked to, on the general tab, is to view it on full screen and startup is, is because in security, I like to require a password to exit full screen. That way, if I need to close presentation, I can, but the normal user will not be able to because they will not know the password for the admin section of this. So also in security, I can disable certain features so that users don't have the option of doing something. Um, if I don't want them to change the viewing options, I can disable it. If I don't want them to be able to preview a document, I can disable it. I can also disable printer selection. Um, doing so means that whatever printer I made that label template up for, that format up for, that is the only one that it's going to print to. I do not get to change that. I would rather leave this open. Printer selection within um, PrintStation um, comes up as a list of the available Windows print drivers on that station, on that PC. 
are available for that PC. And then print quantity, I'd rather just let the user decide. So we're going to click OK here on that. Go back into it again real quick. And as you can see, it now asks me for a password. You know, the password, come back to where we were. On the advanced tab, number of documents, I can either say, hey, I only want one label open at a time, or hey, let me open five labels at a time. On this one, on this option, if I open up a sixth label, it will automatically close the oldest open label that I have. I think one is okay for our demonstration today. You can also load documents in the ca into the cache, or I can choose to close on these documents after so many minutes. So that way it just goes back to the main screen. So here at our home screen, I have different options. Um, the reason I selected these for different folders is there's another option you can use from within the admin setup to kind of help lock down who sees what and who can print to what. Under root folders for visibility, currently I have it say, hey, all users can see everything. Now let's say you have print stations set up in different areas of your facility. And let's say shipping only needs to see the shipping labels and receiving only needs to see the receiving labels because they don't need to print shipping labels. You might kind of help narrow it down to where we're not getting misprints. I can click on the visible to selected users and groups. I can add one. And let me just pick somebody here real quick. We'll click OK. So now I made the print station folder available only to Barry Van, Barry, sorry, excuse me, Barry Van Paris. And now when I click on the home button, I don't see that folder anymore because I am not Barry. Now, if I want to be able to see that folder along with Barry and say, hey, let's go down and add. So now I can see it again. Once again, that shows you how you can kind of limit folder visibility and why it's a good reason to kind of categorize or compartmentalize different labels. Okay, for this next example, I want to I'm have to just re-enable one of the features I disabled earlier. Let's go back into the administrative setup. Security, I want to do document preview. Okay. So for this example, we are going to go into our print station folder. We're going to pick our in-house label format. So this label has several different print prompts that are on the data form entry from within the bartender format. We're going to do a preview of this on this printer here. Okay, so now when I go to preview, or if you go to print, if you have a data form entry or data entry form set up on the format, you will get the dialog box pop up here. And now we can preview. And here's what the label will look like from within our tender itself. So even though I do have variable data on here, or data that needs a data entry form, it still works. But I can actually go in and change the original format. This was a um, pretty quick uh, example video. Don't want to go too long here. On print station, how to set it up, how to kind of lock it down, um, good reasons why to compartmentalize formats. And also an example of using a, a um, printing a label with a data entry form. If you guys do have any questions, please feel free to comment in the video below. Also, please visit us at www.emptechgroup.com and you can submit a comment there or a question there. Or please feel free to call us at 317-776-6700. And thank you again for watching. Have a good day.